Hello everyone, welcome to I must create academy. Here is an recruitment update from NIELIT, which is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So you can see when you will go to the official website of NIELIT, which is National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. One latest recruitment is there for vacancies to be filled upon direct recruitment basis in NIELIT. When you will go to this detailed advertisement, the advertisement will be open. Let's talk about this one in detail. So first of all, opening date of portal for receipt of application is 15th July, which is already started. And the last date for this online application will be after the 30 days of publication of this advertisement, right? So you should remember about these dates also. So let me talk about this one vacancies to be filled upon the direct recruitment basis. Okay, so they are not asking about the GET exam. So National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology NIELIT is an autonomous scientific society of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology Government of India. Okay, so they are going to recruit for the scientist. The first post is scientist C, but here they are going to recruit for the freshers also and for the experienced also here in this advertisement i am going to talk about the for the freshers only okay so for the the experience you can see here just for the scientists see they are going to recruit for the minimum four year experience okay or two year experience for with the master's degree so uh, here this is the post uh, for freshers can apply scientist b total number of vacancies are 12 the reservation is mentioned here you can see the, the post will be of level 10, level 10 in the pay matrix of 56,100 to 1,77,500. Essential qualification is B, B Tech in Computer Science or Computer Engineering, Information Technology, Electrical and Electronics, Electronics and Instrumentation, Electronics, Electronics and Communications are, are applicable with first class, okay, B, B Tech with minimum 60% marks, okay. So, here, here post qualification experience in relevant field so the experiences means if, if you are post qualified then also the experience is not required even you are having one year experience then also it is required then also it is okay so the maximum upper age limit is 30 year uh, now what is the selection process for this one you can see interview which may or may not be preceded by a written test depending upon the number of applications received so this is the first one you can see here this is this is the job locations also mentioned okay now uh, let's talk about for the next one uh, the next one is senior technical assistant okay total number of vacancies are seven pay scale will be of level six in the pay matrix of 35,400 to 1 lakh 12,400 BE BTEC in computer science, computer engineering, information technology, electrical electronics will be done. Electronics instrumentation, electronics is also applicable with minimum minimum 60% marks in BE BTEC. Okay, if you are having MSc, MCA, then also it is applicable. Diploma here students with BE BTEC degree is also applicable. So here here the post qualification experience can be zero. It can be for one year also. Maximum upper age limit is 30 year. Written test as it is mentioned here for this specific post written test objective type only will be applicable. So they are going to recruit on the basis of this written test. Okay, so for others also you can see senior technical assistant store. So the, the, the essential uh, qualification is mentioned here. If you are from the diploma then senior technical uh, student assistant in civil diploma in civil engineering with minimum five year post qualification experience is also required here. So most of the posts are for the experience for the freshers I already talked about here. Now let's talk about the, the important thing here. So this is the when please note that the last date for submission of online application will be after the 30 days at 5 30 pm okay from the advertisement has been released. Uh, the next thing you can see here is this one. So grade pay, uh, if the post is for level 10 and above, then then uh, the category means they are going to recruit for the online only. So you need to pay for application fee. So application fee for SC, ST, PWD, uh, PWD woman candidates will be 400 per application. If you are gender and all others, it is 800. So if you are going to uh, 
apply for the level 10, level 7 and below. So, this is 300 and 600 respectively. Okay. So, uh, this you can see, you can pay through the, the, uh, the fee through any other mode like demand draft. Okay. Will not be accepted. It is only and only through online mode. All right. Now, the next, next thing is choice of center for written examinations. As it is mentioned, these, these will be the center for the written examination. And the written exam will, will be an objective type question, okay. It will be on OMR sheet based, okay. There will be negative marking also, one fourth marks uh, will be directed for each wrong answer. So, th this is the pattern which mentioned here. So, more details you can see about the how to apply, which number of posts you can apply, for what uh, the criteria is mentioned, everything is mentioned here, okay. So, the important thing is the online application is already started from the 15th July and it will be it will be up to the next 30 days okay guys so you can go through the official website of this one and you can check for the more details thank you stay tuned to I must get again my youtube channel